Malcolm X was a racist. This video is brought to you by The Officer Jackson and the Officer Jackson merch store. So if you want to get a t-shirt, boots won't lick themselves, a hat, visit The Officer Jackson merch store. Use the discount code Black People Suck and go ahead and get you some merch, all right? So like this video, share this video. Let's get into this. So y'all, I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all again, y'all know how I feel about black people. I do not like black people, all right? So now we have this so-called civil rights activist leader, Malcolm Little, that's what I should call him, that's his name, that's the name his mama gave him, but Malcolm Little, he go, who goes by Malcolm X now? Malcolm X now is an activist, and he so-called uh, speaks up for black people and speaks against the, the oppression of black people. First of all, that's a lie. There is no oppression against black people in this country. There is no oppression against white people in this country from black people. The only racists in this country are black people. How many times do I got to say it? Do your research. If you want to go back to the slavery days, let me tell you something. I did my research, y'all. Only 6% of white people own slaves. A lot of slave owners were other black people who enslaved black people. That's right. You've been lied to this whole time. There, 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 was very, there was a small group of white people that owned slaves. It was mostly black people. There you go. Shows how evil they are. You say, Officer Jackson, how do you know this? Because my people from the JacksonReport.com got in the time machine, went back in time and went there and got the real facts. There was a situation that happened where a young man named Brother Johnson, I don't know why they call him brother, I don't think they're related, but Brother Johnson was assaulted by a police officer. That's another lie. Brother Johnson was not out there just taking a walk in the park and minding his own business and was attacked because he was black. No, Brother Johnson was out there harassing white people. He was starting trouble, he was drunk and belligerent, and he had a whole gallon of cocaine in his system. Brother Johnson was approached by a female officer and he beats this female officer almost to death. He almost beat her to death like a savage. Other officers came on the scene. He was not compliant. He wasn't cooperating. And so they had to put the boots to him, rightfully so. They beat him up. They took him to the jail. And now there's a big outrage. Oh, another white cop beats up a black man. Now they want to bring BLM into it. Where was BLM when that little girl got killed on the street by another black boy? Nobody's talking about that. Okay. They take him to the police station, right? So now there's a mob. Every time something happens to somebody black, there's always a mob outside. A mob has to show up. So now they call Malcolm X like he's some kind of superhero, and he's not. Because all Malcolm does is talk about division between white and black. Instead of unifying everybody, he wants to cause division. He talks about how white people are devils and how black people is a... Well, listen... You can take your nation to Islam and go back to, to the Middle East or wherever you are from. This is America, Jack. Land of the free, home of the brave. The Constitution was written for white and black. Look it up. Do your research. And the reason why Malcolm is this way, surprise, surprise, no father in the home. He had no father in the home. Yeah, his father left. He didn't get drug out by the KKK. He went out to get some moonshine and never came back. No father in the home. So anyway, this thug who beat up this police officer, got jumped by her fellow officers, rightfully so. As a former officer myself, I would have beat his ass too, okay? They have him in a cell, and he's beaten, he's bloodied. Let me tell you something. The cops are not EMTs. They're not medical professionals. It is not their job to get that man medical treatment. He is in a jail cell because of what he did. It's not their responsibility to get a medical help. So Malcolm comes up there and demands justice, demands that he see he gets medical attention. So the police, they're, they're, they're trying to talk to Malcolm. They're trying to uh, reason with him. But he's being rude and obnoxious and racist. He's being blatantly racist. So they finally give in, which they shouldn't have done. I wouldn't have gave in. I would have kicked this black out. But they gave in. They got an ambulance to come and take him to the hospital while the mob sat outside. So that's how you cause all your problems is by a mob. A bunch of thugs, BLM, thugs. I can't stand black people. I can't stand black people. If, if it was up to me, y'all, I would, I, would, I would tear this skin off and be clear. Okay, black people get on my nerves. 
you know. And another thing, the whole Tulsa massacre that was celebrated yesterday, that's another lie. That is false. There was no massacre. There was black people killed along with white people. And it was because a black boy allegedly raped a white girl. And it was a fight that broke out. That's why what happened happened. The, the white people got a mob and they BLM'd it, okay? They, they, they BLM'd it. BLM does the same thing. But when a white person, when white people do it, it's bad. Okay, let me continue. They get the man medical help. The mob now disperses. Y'all, this made me so sick to watch because here it is, a so-called black activist causing division in this country, talking bad about white people, and white people have done the most for this country. All right, white people wrote the Declaration of Independence. White people are the ones that made America what it is. It was a sorry behind black people. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying all black people, but about 99.9% .9 of them, only ones that are not bad are the ones like myself, the bootlickers, all right? I love my white people. White people are just so, uh, listen, huh. black people are a disgrace. I can't stand them. Pooey, I spit on them. Malcolm X, racist. Martin Luther King, a socialist. He has some conservative values, but Martin Luther King was a socialist. All black people in this country suck. Unless you're like me, do your research. Do your research. If, if, if you want to get to the root of the problem, y'all, okay, this man, Brother Johnson, that's what they want to call him. He's nobody's brother. Brother Johnson could have avoided getting what happened to him by just being compliant and cooperating with the cops and not beat up that officer. He was a thug. He's a drug addict. He's a loser. And you know why? No father in the home. He's got no father in the home. If you had a father in the home, this wouldn't happen. If you want to solve all of black problems to keep black people from being thugs and, and animals and savages, put some fathers in the home and that'll solve everything. Look at your white brethren and be like them. If you want to know how to be in this country, look at, look at the, the white people. White people are my white brothers and sisters. Stay strong. Black people ain't being oppressed. The, the true races are black people. It's not y'all white folks. White folks, yeah, y'all are good. Y'all are very good. I want to kiss you through the screen. Black people, ugh, make me sick to my... Oh, God. Mm. Oh, oh, that almost came up. That almost came up. I can't stand y'all. Anyways, y'all, I digress. Malcolm X is a racist, and he should be stopped. All right? If you want to talk about true activists, look no further than Florida's governor, Ron DeSantis. Now that is a true patriot, and I'm out.